Hey, what are we doing tonight? Soap is a salt of a fatty acid and is created by mixing fats and oils with a base. I'm gonna try out a very cheap and hot process soap making that uses bacon. I'm also gonna need a drain cleaner composed of 100% sodium hydroxide, also known as lye, and a set of stainless steel pens. This is important since a pen made out of aluminium could react to the lye and produce hydrogen gas. And we don't wanna die making soaps, okay? In fact, I'm always using safety goggles and gloves at all times during the making of the soap to avoid chemical burns. Remember, be hot, but be safe. So first, I cut the bacon into even smaller slices and let it shimmer at a low temperature. This process should take around 8 hours and produce a decent amount of liquid pork fat. My first time though, it wasn't pretty. Despite using the lowest heat possible, within minutes everything turned into ashes and the house always smelled like burnt bacon for days. So to fix this, I had to buy an electric cooktop with manageable temperatures. I call him Bob. And I set Bob to 80 degrees Celsius. The only other option above that was 100 degrees, and that was again too high. The result was that I could only get small amounts of liquid fat even after hours and hours of shimmering. Within a couple of days, little by little, I finally managed to get what I thought was a decent amount of liquid pork fat. The fat was full of impurities though, and that could mess up the soap, so I mixed it with water to make a clear separation of the purified fat since oil and water have different densities. Then I would let it firm up on the fridge overnight and remove it the next morning. And I repeated this process over the course of a few days until I get every inch of gram I could get. At this stage, I had gathered 54 grams of semi-soft white pork, also known as lard, which was used as a cooking fat for centuries. Did you know that? Okay, so next I was supposed to melt the lard and mix it with a solution of distilled water and lye. Distilled water is water that has been boiled into vapor and then condensed back into liquid in a separate container. So it's a type of purified water. I boil some water in one of the pans while placing a pot floating above it. Then I took a lid and placed it upside down so that the angle helps the condensation hit the handle and collect and drip the now distilled water towards that middle floating pot. One thing to optimize this process is to place some ice cubes on the top of the lid. It cools down the lid as well as the steam heating the glass and thus turning it into water again. To make sure I would get the correct proportions, I used the soapcock.net calculator. Having 54 grams of lard as my chosen oil, I had to first mix around 20 grams of purified distilled water to around 7 grams of sodium hydroxide. Not gonna lie, I was kind of afraid here since this reaction creates fumes that should not be inhaled. Good thing we all have masks now, huh? <laughs> so I mixed the solution between water and lye until it was crystal clear, and then with the melted lard by hand for what felt like an eternity. After maybe an hour and a half of mixing, the texture was finally thick like putty. Then I poured some cinnamon essential oil for smell and some pink mica powder for color. Now it was just a matter of pouring the mixture into the mold and placing it inside the oven for 48 hours. This is finally the time that the fat will be converted into soap and alcohol by the action of the lime in a process known as saponification. The next day I took it out of the oven and it was done. It turned out way cooler than I expected. Although I probably should have gathered more lard so it could fill the whole mold. In most cases the soap will still be kind of soft at this stage, so it's a good idea to let it cure for a couple of weeks more so it hardens and lasts longer. I finally learned something to make my hands smell nice. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for more skills. And you could also follow me on Instagram. That would be cool.